All right, this is Anton again. Um, in this video, what I need to do now is a continuation of the first one where we deploy uh, the different components of CloudStack to two KVM hosts and one management server. What I want to do is get um, to get Open vSwitch installed, and if you don't already have the RPMs available to you, you will have to to uh, to build these from source and I wanted to just go through that process real quick and then get the open vSwitch RPMs installed on the KVM host so I have a a system <coughs> here that I put up uh, it's just a vir virtual machine default VM that I'm just going to use for uh, a development environment in order to build these RPMs. Uh, this is from scratch. So first thing we want to do is install the development tools. All right, now that the development tools have been installed, we're going to go ahead and install a couple more uh, RPMs here. We need uh, we need wget. We're going to use that later to grab some stuff off of uh, another server to, to grab the uh, open vSwitch source files, and we're going to do open SSL. Okay, so now that those are done, we're going to go ahead and make sure we're in our home directory. We're going to make a, a um, RPM bill source, sources folder, as shown here. Then we're going to go ahead and do wget and grab the, the open vSwitch source files. Once those have downloaded, we're going to go ahead and unzip them. Then we're going to change into the directory for the, un the zip file. Um, and next, what we're going to do is copy the the uh, the zip file that we had into the RPM build sources folder. And then we're also going to copy the open v switch. Kmod uh, files here into the RPM build sources folder. Okay, so now that that's done, we can go ahead and do an RPM build. All right, so the first build is done. We're going to go ahead and run the last one here. Okay, so now that both of those are done, uh, those can be found in the RPM build. Um, in this folder here, you go ahead and list, you'll see you have three packages here. Um, really, you only need the Kmod open switch and the open B switch. Uh, RPMs be installed, but you can install all of them if you like. So from here, let's go ahead and exit out of this machine here. We're going to go ahead and RDP into one of the KVM hosts. Now that we've SSH into the one of the KVM hosts, we can begin the process of uh, SCPing the RPMs off of this, off of the previous system onto this box so that we can do the installs. So I'm going to go ahead and copy those uh, RPMs over. Okay, so we've RPM those three files. They're right here. So what we want to do is do a yum local install and open the switch all right so now that open v switch has been installed you will need to reboot in order to uh, make sure that it's enabled and working what i'm going to do first though is set up the, the the bridges that i need to the networking piece 
for this here and I've, I've created a script basically to do this relatively easy for me and what I'll do is I'll post this in a blog post so you can see all the different things that I'm doing when I configure the, uh, the, the OBS bridges and the ports. So I'm going to go ahead and run that script here and then we're going to reboot so it, also in addition to enabling the or configuring the OVS bridge and the ports um, and basically I've updated you can see here the the if config cloud bridge one we created a cloud bridge two, uh, zero and then I updated ETH, ETH1 and ETH0 here with these parameters. After I created or configured those, uh, the, the network settings there, I went and put the bridge in the blacklist so this does not uh, get enabled when it at boot up. And also added a couple configurations to the cloud stack agent uh, property file. Uh, just enable the network bridge type open switch, open V switch, and then also deliver driver here. So with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and reboot. We need to do the same thing to the the other host, and I'll skip that in this video. It's the same process, uh, just to save some time on the video. Okay, now that OpenV switch has been installed on both KVM hosts, we can log back into one of them and just verify that OpenV switch is actually installed and working. And we can just check the version. And you see 2.3 is installed. And we can do a open OVS dash VSCTL show, and this will show the the bridges and the ports that we set up as well. All right. So from here, the next step is to go into Cloud Stack and set up the the uh, the zone with the advanced networking, and we'll do that next.